Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. And yep, just want to give you guys a quick market update. I've been super busy lately. I didn't even get to make to, didn't even get the chance to make a video yesterday. So I owe you guys to make a video today. And I'm gonna make a bonus video later tonight. And it's gonna be related about Binance and uh, how you can never get liquidated uh, using uh, certain tokens and uh, on on Binance. But uh, that's gonna be for later. Uh, but yeah, we could just see that, you know, we had an amazing, nice little rally here. You know, we entered some trades right here at the $36,000 area, right before we broke out. Uh, me and Daniel made over like 120% on these trades. Uh, we closed them out at 12% profit. You know, it's good to take profits off the table. It's never a bad idea. And honestly, yep, we could see that we were in phase A. We made, you know, we touched uh, the bottom right here right here and then we made a uh, phase b right there made it a, a low as well and then phase c in my opinion was the spring where we dip down we dump and we we spring up super fast and now that in hindsight that we look back at it yes this really does look like a wyckoff event and right now i think what's going to happen is we could chop around for these uh at these levels for maybe a little bit you know maybe not into, until phase c but you know we could definitely chop around and in phase C, we start to rally back up. And that is my opinion on what is going to happen, uh, you know, in the coming days, in the coming weeks, and be at the end of, before the end of the month. I think we could have a nice rally up to potentially the four, uh, right here. I have the, where is it? The $45,000 level, I believe. And the $55,000 level. Is that the 21 weekly EMA? Yes, it is okay so that is where i think we could be heading in the short term right now just get rid of these for you guys so you can see it better delete that we'll even save this so it doesn't do that again okay perfect so i think we could be heading back up to the 45 43 thousand dollar level maybe potentially blast through it and hit the 40 the 55 thousand dollar level right around this area where we could start maybe running into some major major resistance but right now, you know, we could see that we would, we, 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 this is around the word, the kind of like the resistance was at 39,000, 38,000. Uh, we had a, tri we had a previous triangle right here. I don't know if I still have it. Yeah. So around this area, you know, this was the, the resistance. And now we're hitting actually a resistance box in the, that I had previously drawn, you know, since, <laughs> I don't know, uh, the four, the, since, uh, January I had drawn this. So I'm not surprised that we're running into resistance right now. And yet we could probably, you know, trend up and down in this area for a, for a couple of weeks. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not a couple of weeks, but maybe the, like a, a few days we could stay here before we actually start to make some moves up. I do like that we are staying here, you know, for hours and hours. These are four hour candles. So we've been here for a while, you know, just fighting that resistance. You know, it's not like well, where we go up here, we just touch it. And we get rejected down right away right i do like that there are more touch points against the resistance than the support you know support we have these big wicks because there's just so many buy orders at these at these at these levels so that's really good uh we could also look at on the daily time frame that we are starting to break out of this downtrend now for the rsi right so that's really good really really good stuff to, that i'd really do like to see uh, right now, it's like uh, on the daily candles. It's about to close in about an hour. Uh, it's making a small red candle. Not too worried about that. It's possible that we ha do have a wick down, right? This is this is a small triangle that I've drawn right here. Uh, I think Daniel's drawn it as well in the chat. And, you know, we are nearing the end of it. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we do uh, <laughs> end up breaking out very, very soon. Uh, big, big volume could be coming in. So just keep that in mind. And yes, we, we look at market cipher right now. It does look a little bearish, you know, but uh, on the larger time frames right here, we got some uh, nice, uh, nice bullish candles, but they are starting to get weak as we run into this moving average right here. And yeah, we always want to take into consideration the larger time frames. So we can even look at the weekly. We have our first <laughs> bullish weekly candle and it could potentially signal a small green dot Right. If we get a green dot on the weekly time frame, I will most likely enter some positions as well. Right? I might enter some 
non-leverage positions where I add funds from my bank account right into Bitcoin. As you know, you obviously want a dollar cost average by the dips, but you want to confirm that the dips are over first, right? Obviously, you could have bought at thirty-one thousand, but then you're taking on more risk. And we want to manage our risk accordingly on this channel, especially you know. Now we're at I don't even know where we're at. I think we're at four hundred and fifty-one subscribers now super like i really I'm, it's just, i i appreciate i appreciate you guys so much it's so it's it's very very nice now all the support in the chat is uh and also uh you know i've bought some i've bought some new computers and some new desktops where uh, the streams will now be uh 1080p so you guys can enjoy the better content and maybe uh, trade better too because you know you have the, every detail in the charts really matters so and I definitely know that, so I, I really want to give back to the community too. And uh, yeah, we could look at the you know at the one or one hour time frames yesterday. I think yeah we had like a a, a diamond red candle uh, right here yeah and just like it it went we went down and then it just ended up closing green anyways <laughs> so it didn't even matter like yeah like this one right here this was the one the one on the 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 buy bit chart we had a red diamond. It closed red diamond and then it just pumped up like crazy. So just manipulation, just like be careful, especially during these uh these periods where we start to uh start to the the E May band start to squeeze. A big move is could be coming. It could be like a dump down right to the thirty seven thousand six hundred dollar level and then we just bounce back up. You know, you you never know what's gonna happen. But we obviously wanna use market cipher because it's uh it's one of the best trading indicators that we have to date and yeah i still by the way if anyone's wondering uh i'm still uh <laughs> short on the, the sp500 and yes my short is uh, still in a, in, a, in a bit of a loss but there's no problem i don't really mind that right because i still believe in on the monthly candles we will see a red dot next month and i think we are going to roll over and start to take on a lot of uh you know <laughs> uh so so I'll like the I, th I really feel like the market's going to correct severely and then our short position is going to be uh appreciating immensely and there was one more thing i wanted to talk about as well we could see that ethereum is not performing as well now right because we could see that there was a rise right here oh where is it there we go in the bitcoin dominance right so we could see that the bitcoin dominance is starting to come back a little bit and we could see that ethereum is not uh moving uh, as much or like pumping as much we know we could see that bitcoin had a nice uh we could just go measure it over here in the four hour we could see that bitcoin since the thirty six thousand dollar levels we had a nice pump of almost uh you know 13 to 12 percent and but ethereum only did about maybe i'd say you know eight percent so it's less you know surprisingly because it, it is an altcoin it's supposed to uh, move much more to so right now i'm still i'm only trading uh bitcoin right now i'm just staying on the sidelines with ethereum just holding it in the long-term positions but you know not really trading it at the moment and uh, yeah anyways congratulations to everyone who made who follows in, the, in those trades who made some really good gains and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day stay tuned for some more videos i would love i love the support if you want to sign up for buy big the, the links in the description and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.